permission to board. <laughs> How are you, man? Hi. Good, Stefan. Robert. Yep, nice to meet you. Come on up. Go to the forward there. Apple. Hi, Pleasure. I'm Stefan. Nice to meet you. Watch your step there. Yeah. Icon. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the 9 to 5 grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. New episodes weekly. Thanks for remembering to subscribe. This is the boat that took the road wave and had the pontoon break. And yeah, I, I think it was the it. starboard one that broke. Yeah. Uh, it was really off, and they almost like lost the boat. Yeah. The boat was almost gone. And uh, they like ratchet strapped it back on and towed it. Did they tow it? I don't I don't no. remember the whole story. I just they know that motored, it... they motored it and like the Bob Barker some boat was like next to it watching it the whole time and they then they got back to a port in Australia, I forget which one it was. Wow. And they got back to port. And then what they had to do was since that one was falling off, they took this one off as well so they would be even when they put them back and you see that big kind of strip right there yeah so there's one in the back there too so they put those those two big strips on boom boom to try give to it some good it reinforcement better. yeah and they did they, they did the same thing to both sides and even them out wow. yeah very cool yeah so it's, a, it's an interesting boat it's a, it's yeah. a weird looking boat um, but it was actually designed it was designed to go to be the fastest boat that went around the world and it did that when it launched in 1998 fastest boat around the world 70 74 days Wow. Um, and it was designed to, to just be very fuel efficient. Okay. You know, have a good speed, be very efficient. And that's why it's so pointy. It's so pointy for like minimal displacement. Yeah. So you're not moving a bunch of water oh, out yeah. of the way. But it's so pointy and thin that it would just flop over if you didn't put two, uh, you didn't put two, two, yeah. two floats on each side. It would just, yeah. Right. What she have for power? Uh, about a thousand horsepower, which yeah. is not really that yeah. much. You see more on these uh, center consoles. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, two diesels. Yeah. Some of those like sport boats, they have like four engines on the oh, back, yeah. and I'm like, wow, they have like twice as much horsepower. <laughs> but what's cool is we can still go like 30 knots or more yeah. with a 95 ton boat, 110 feet long, with a thousand horsepower, we can go like 30 knots or more, yeah. which is pretty, which is pretty amazing. And that just goes to the design of the boat, right? Yeah. That's the right. And you could probably take some pretty big seas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. actually cool because like if you're hitting the waves head on, it just stabs right through them. Stab. Right. Stab. If they're from behind you, you surf, and if from from the side, you're like bumping around. It's weird. It's like boats like shifting underneath you. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, but it's a cool. It's a great boat to drive. I remember we were in like going through the Panama Canal. There's a big lake in the middle. Yeah. And it's it was not a windy day, so this lake was like super flat, and we were just like cruising through, and it was so cool to watch the like, the bow just like slice through everything. You know, like it's kind of cool here, but it's like it was so flat. Yeah, it was such a it was such a cool looking. looking nice. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Cause I'm the clumsy one. <laughs> so what was this boat before you guys got it? It was it was just built to go fast around. So the it world. was like a rich man's yacht or a... sort of. I think it was more like a research boat. Ah. Uh, Cable and Wireless owned it, which is just like a company that sponsored it, I think. Okay. Don't quote me, I know you're filming right That's now. That's alright, I can always yeah. edit me out. Of course, you know. I'll research it. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think it was just a research bill. We got it in, Sea Shepherd got it in 2010. Okay. I think 2010. Named it Gojira, painted it black, it was sweet, like Godzilla. And then like Japanese people tried to sue us for the name. Oh my god. Because it says, because it's Godzilla, which Wait. is a band, it's a band, but anyways. I feel like I heard that. Um, yeah, so then they changed it to Bridget Bardot and painted it white. Yeah. Oh, is this your wish list? Yeah, that's our wish list. Yeah. Zoom in. Yes, let me. Night vision binoculars, please. Binoculars? Mm -hmm. So we can yeah. see the bad guys. This is the fly bridge. It was added on after the boat was built. I don't know how long after, a year or two later, maybe. Mm. Um, and it's just so you can like see as you're maneuvering and docking and stuff, you can see, see a lot better. Mm. Uh, so really just we can shift all our controls up here and, and, and move the boat around. That, that was a heck of a job, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, seems like it. So this is the bridge. Uh, this is where the comfy chairs are. 
They're actually not too comfy because we don't want you falling asleep or anything when, you're, when you're sitting here. Just, <laughs> just comfy enough. Um, but this is where our main navigation, electronics, and our radar and our GPS and everything is going to be working from up here. Uh, this is kind of like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with our operation that we do. We, A little we bit. We track yeah. Chinese fishing fleets, basically. Yeah. Right. Um, and this is kind of where, where, we, where we do that. We use our, our, you know, our equipment to do that. You can also do engines and controls and steer the boat from here as well. So it's kind of like the main bridge. So, so basically, uh, there are very big fishing fleets in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, most of them are from China. And there's four or five hundred boats some, in some of these fleets, and they sit out there all year round, mm. just going nuts in international waters. And nobody's nobody's really policing them or, or seeing what they're doing. There's or no, no checks one, and balances. No, at all, yeah, right? right. No, the U.S. Coast Guard or Navy, or whatever, is not going to go like two thousand miles out in the middle of nowhere to like look at these guys, right? So no one's doing it. Mm. Um, so that's kind of where we come in. So there's a there's a, a couple companies that do it, a couple NGOs. One of them is called Sky Truth. And uh, we, we work with these guys because these guys are just kind of constantly monitoring these fishing fleets, watching where they're going, seeing what they're doing, what direction. And uh, we, they've noticed that like they'll all turn off their, you know, have AIS, AIS, AIS malfunction yeah. at the same time, and then a few days later, or whatever, they'll pop up somewhere else. Uh -huh. So it's like, are they going into? And most likely, they're going into somebody else's waters and fishing, and then leaving and then turning their stuff back on again. Right? Yeah. The Southern Pacific Ocean has is so much life in it um, because the currents bring up all that cold, cool water. Cold water has more oxygen in it than warm water, mm -hmm. so it's just those oceans are just alive with stuff. Uh, you know, yeah. um, so anyways, they're just in there taking whatever they want, and there's a lot of poaching boats too. They've actually found cargo ships. Oh, 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 oh watch your head. Yeah, no worries. I was explaining that there's there's uh, there's big Chinese fishing fleets in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and they stay out there all the time. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of boats. Most of them are legally licensed. Most of them are. Some of them are not, and um, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of these poaching boats, they like use these fleets to like hide inside there, or they'll. Some of them are far away. Some of them are doing their own thing. But basically, we're working with these guys who, who have a satellite who are tracking, you know, where these guys are going. They basically give us like a list of like the worst one, like the top, like the most the suspicious worst. boats, yeah. you know, that they think are doing something wrong. And most well, most of the time, they're right. We, we basically are tracking and looking for those those guys mm -hmm. so it's kind of a mix between the big fleet that we're going and having a, 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 a keep an eye on them mixed with uh, the, the the ones that we're being recommended to that have the that, that are causing the issues um, and they've, they've even found like cargo ships coming from these fleets that have like you know full of shark fins you know, oh and you're not supposed like it's illegal everywhere to cut the fin off a shark and throw the shark away right, right. you can fish it in some places um, but that's illegal to do that um, so a lot of the time that's what they're doing. They're, 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 and, and it's illegal in China too. So right. when they take the cargo ships back to China, uh, uh, they don't really seem to care that much. Yeah. Uh, so what we, the other thing that we do is we're keeping an eye on them. Uh, we're doing what we can to kind of slow them down if possible. And we're also trying to get together some kind of like documentation and evidence to, to be like, this is, hey China, this is what these guys are doing. I know you don't really care. But uh, here you go. We're like we're laying it out for you. So Let's we're, do we know what's it. going on, yeah. so somebody's right. got to be so accountable. Well, there's so yeah. probably so much money in it too, yeah. right? So they're just turning a blind eye because someone is making tons of money oh, and probably yeah. paying people off, right? Absolutely. So for for a legal shark fin soup, they probably don't care as much over there, but it's still illegal. Yeah. So it's um, yeah. uh, it's not only is it illegal, but it's extremely decimated to the shark population, which right. is just like, tanked. It's which yeah. is just tanked, and it's you know? a circle, and it affects everything else. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's yeah. what people just don't want to understand. Yeah, so this is the media area. Um, we do all our. Uh, I don't know if you follow the boats or anything. A little, or yeah, Facebook. yeah. We're um, all we're of that right. happens like on board. So we yeah. do all our filming and our photography and editing and whatever. It all happens here. Mm -hmm. We do all our posting here. Um, usually, with every boat, there's at least one media person on board yeah, at all that's times. Yeah, Because cool. because the because a big part of it is like making sure people know what the heck's yeah. going Absolutely. on, right? That's a big part of what we're doing, especially when we go out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's really dangerous, mm -hmm. and at least people know that, you know, this is worth it if we go and people realize what's going on. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, media area, uh, we have just kind of switchboard stuff for power. Um, accommodations up here. You guys can 
crews up there if you'd like. Uh, just stay on this side. That's just like bunks and stuff like that for okay. the crew stay. Oh, that's cool. Wow. A little refrigerator and stuff. Um, and I think there's more, more quarters over here. Can you change my yeah. Hey, can I, and I tell you at home. There's an ATM at home. Huh? No, no, uh, really I know I do. What'd you say? I said, see, and I tell you at home too. Do well, don't put it in works. Well, it works. Well, it works. Well, I know. <laughs> uh, galley, so it is a vegan boat. Yeah. And the thing that we like to say, why are you on a boat? We like to say, we don't eat the customers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, or, oh, or, yeah. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, that's where the, the, the cooking gets done. This is the, the mess where we just kind of hang out. Uh, underneath us, engine room, some storage back there, some storage forward. Uh, this is actually, there's an engine right under this plate. And there's another one right there. So that's get pretty noisy back there. It's not too bad. Well, it probably is for like most people. I'm used to it. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It is, there is certainly, is, it's not like right now. Oh, is that what she used to look like? Yeah, that looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think. 2010 to 2011, when it was Gojira, yeah. uh, she was black, which is looks cool, but I don't want to walk on that boat if it's sunny out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so that's not very functional. Yeah, it's not. It looks <laughs> cool, but it's not. We also are based on completely on donations, and we're selling five dollar uh, uh, stickers that we had made as well. So oh, cool. anything, anything uh, uh, or nothing, if you guys want to give, we appreciate it. Absolutely. What's your crew capacity? Oh, uh, we, we'll do about six to seven people usually. Yeah. Um, any less, and then you kind of, people are overworked, especially with watches, keeping watches yeah. and stuff. Mm. Any more, and it just gets like kind of crowded. We also like to keep like a few beds open for guests. Mm. Sometimes we have like government officials or scientists or people on board, and mm. we come pick them up on the shore, and we'll take them out for a run or whatever we're doing. Uh, we had some of the satellite guys on last time we went, uh, a couple of them. Um, so so six to seven is like the good is like a seven seven's a good. Number. So where are you guys off to next? Panama. Okay. Through the canal. Beautiful. Out to the middle of the ocean. Float around for a month. Yeah. Come back. Probably do try to do it again before before our, our three months are up. Okay. Yeah. You know. Um, so that's the plan. Cool. We'll see how we'll see how yeah. it works. And we've yeah. seen you guys here a couple of times here in Hollywood. Yeah. Is there a certain reason you guys come to Hollywood? Or? I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. Well. Fort Lauderdale is like the place to fix your boat, right? Yeah. It's the place to go if you need parts or if you Absolutely. need to do something. This yeah. is the spot. Yeah. Um, why Capones? I don't know. I, mean, I think they just came here last year. They did some yeah. work. Rich and, cool about Rich and the director are like kind of, you know, yeah. not buddies, but like, you know, they, we're, it's yeah. nice to stick with people you've, you've, you're familiar yeah. with. Yeah. You know? Well, um, cool. And the guys over there like us and we like them. So it's, it works out really well. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people are Park, awesome. Parking like I is sweet too. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh. nice, that's why it's nice about the, the foot spot. Yeah. Is that is that it is a little bit easier because sometimes the boat is like, you know, and like you have to sleep like hanging on to something, oh. otherwise you'll fall out of your bed or like hit the ceiling. You know. Right. So yeah, so so that that little cubby is kind of nice. It sort of helps me stay in there. Well, that's good. You have like the most amazing vegan chef. His name is Dan. Okay. And he just like kills it. Nice. What did he make? He made like vegan mozzarella balls. Uh huh. With Not soy? With or? I don't know what was yeah. in them. They were delicious though. Yeah. And he, and he deep fried them. He yes. like deep fried them. You remember that? Those mozzarella balls? And he made a really good uh, spaghetti with it. Yeah. Really good spaghetti with like angel hair. And meatballs in the spaghetti, in spicy spaghetti sauce. But it was like not meat, but it tasted like Right. Meat. Yeah. Like, or what was your name? Stefan. Alright, Apple. Uh, yeah, and Robert. Pleasure. Yeah, nice to meet thank you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you.